God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church, the church in Kenmount Terrace, and I want to thank you for joining us for this service of morning prayer on Monday the 6th of April. I'm going to light a candle, you can light one too, to symbolize the prayers of the scattered church ascending into heaven, even when we can't physically gather for worship. We'll take a few moments to calm ourselves, to prepare to pray, and when we're ready, the service of morning prayer will begin on page six in the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Christ our Lord became obedient unto death. O come, let us worship. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that ye would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ our Lord became obedient unto death. O come, let us worship. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 51, beginning on page 394. Have mercy upon me, O God, after thy great goodness. According to the multitude of thy mercies, do away mine offences. Wash me throughly from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, <clears throat> and done that which is evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and clear when thou dost judge. Behold, I was brought forth in wickedness, and in sin hath my mother conceived me. But, lo, thou requirest truth in the inward parts, and shalt make me to understand wisdom secretly. Thou shalt purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear of joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Turn thy face from my sins, and put out all my misdeeds. Make me a clean heart, O God, 
and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O give me the comfort of thy help again, and establish me with a free spirit. Then shall I teach thy ways unto the wicked, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou that art the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest no sacrifice, else would I give it, but thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, shalt thou not despise. O be favourable and gracious unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with the burnt offerings and oblations. Then shall they offer young bullocks upon thine altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the Lamentations of Jeremiah, the first chapter beginning at the first verse. How lonely sits the city that was full of people, how like a widow has she become, she that was great among the nations, she that was, was she that was a princess among the cities has become a vassal. She weeps bitterly in the night, tears on her cheeks. Among all her lovers she has none to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They have become her enemies. From the daughter of Zion has departed all her majesty. Her princes have become like hearts that find no pasture. They fled without strength before the pursuer. Jerusalem remembers in the days of her affliction and bitterness all the precious things that were hers from days of old. When her people fell into the hand of the, of the, of the foe and there was none to help her, the foe gloated over her, mocking at her downfall. Jerusalem sinned grievously. Therefore she became filthy. All who honoured her despise her, for they have seen her nakedness. Yea, she herself groans and turns her face away. Her uncleanness was in her skirts. She took no thought of her doom. Therefore her fall is terrible. She has no comforter. O Lord, behold my affliction, for the enemy has triumphed. The enemy has stretched out his hands over all her precious things. Yea, she has seen the nations invade her sanctuary, those whom thou didst forbid to enter thy congregation. All her people groan as they search for bread, they trade their treasures for food to revive their strength. Look, O Lord, and behold, for I am despised. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which was brought upon me, which the Lord inflicted on the day of his fierce anger. Here endeth the first lesson. The service of morning prayer continues with the Benedicity on page 26. O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O ye angels of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye heavens, bless ye the Lord. O ye waters that be above the firmament, bless ye the Lord. O all ye powers of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye sun and moon, bless ye the Lord. O ye stars of heaven, bless ye the Lord. 
O ye showers and dew, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him for ever. O ye winds of God, bless ye the Lord. O ye fire and heat, bless ye the Lord. O ye winter and summer, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him for ever. O ye dews and frosts, bless ye the Lord. O ye frost and cold, bless ye the Lord. O ye ice and snow, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him for ever. O ye nights and days, bless ye the Lord. O ye light and darkness, bless ye the Lord. O ye lightnings and clouds, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him for ever. O let the earth bless the Lord. O ye mountains and hills, bless ye the Lord. O all ye green things upon the earth, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him for ever. O ye wells, bless ye the Lord. O ye seas and floods, bless ye the Lord. O ye whales and all that move in the waters, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him for ever. O all ye fowls of the air, bless ye the Lord. O all ye beasts and cattle, bless ye the Lord. O ye children of men, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him for ever. O let Israel bless the Lord. O ye priests of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O ye servants of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him for ever. O ye spirits and souls of the righteous, bless ye the Lord. O ye holy and humble men of heart, bless ye the Lord. O Ananias, Azarias, and Misael, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is written in the Gospel according to St. Mark, the eleventh chapter, beginning at the twelfth verse. On the following day, when they came from Bethany, Jesus was hungry. And seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went to see if he could find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. And he said to it, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. And they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold and those who bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers, and the seats of those who sold pigeons. And he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. And he taught and said to them, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations? But you have made it a den of robbers. And the chief priests and the scribes heard it, and sought a way to destroy him. For they feared him, because... All the multitude was astonished at his teaching. And when evening came, they went out of the city. As they passed by in the morning, they saw the fig tree withered away to its roots. And Peter remembered and said to him, Master, look, the fig tree which you cursed has withered. And Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Here endeth the second lesson. The service of morning prayer continues with the Benedictus on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us 
in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people, for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards mankind hast sent thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh, and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience, and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who art afflicted in the afflictions of thy people, regard with thy tender compassion those in anxiety and distress. Bear their sorrows and their cares. Supply all their manifold needs, and help both them and us to put our whole trust and confidence in thee. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son Jesus Christ went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people, continue, we beseech thee, this his gracious work among us especially in those working to contain the spread of the coronavirus. Cheer, heal, and sanctify the sick. Grant to the physicians, surgeons, and nurses wisdom and skill, sympathy, and patience. And send down thy blessing upon all who labor to prevent suffering and to forward thy purposes of love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers at this time for all those who are in need of our prayers, whether they have specifically asked us to pray for them, or whether the Spirit of God has put it into our hearts to pray for them. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Again, thank you for praying with us this morning. I hope that you'll be able to join us as well for, for evening prayer tomorrow evening at 4.30 Newfoundland time. Until then, be good, God bless, and take care of each other. Bye-bye.